Hey sailors, welcome to the crew. I'm Sea Lord Janda, and this is my let's play of Ruler Waves 3 as the United States. We've just fought and won a fleet engagement with Great Britain, in which we managed to sink one of their dreadnoughts after a long fight. And the war now continues with them still significantly outnumbering us, but a little bit of hope for us to finally drive them off of our coast. That is a huge win, yeah. All right, diesel generators, damage control improvement. Oh, great, enemy fleets dominate the seas around Maine. They do not, they just lost a battle. Well, uh, yeah, we're still under blockade, by the way. Um, despite the tremendous victory, not enough to force the British to actually leave our coast alone. Close, probably. Right now, we have even numbers of dreadnoughts that are actually available. And apparently all of our, yeah, all of our battle cruisers, all two of them are ready for action again. In fact, the only ship that's out is Minnesota. So, actually, it'd be nice if another battle generated this turn of that scale, because they'd be heavily, I mean, they have a lot of pre-dreadnoughts, but as we've just seen, those can't really keep up with the dreadnought engagement. Four against four plus two against three, not that bad. That'd be very fightable. We actually have more than them in the Caribbean right now. Unfortunately, I can't launch invasions because we're under blockade, but we're getting somewhere here. And widespread demonstrations and serious disturbances in Great Britain, despite us being the ones under blockade. Uh, I believe it's 10 that's dangerous for unrest, same as most things in this game, so... 3 is really not that bad. No, oh, it's helped our research in fleet tactics. But we're struggling with unit machinery. Shipboard aircraft operation. But we're struggling with X-Lighters. And they've lost another destroyer into a mine, HMS Amazon. Oh, hot damn, Japan! Japan lost... The destroyers Sabakaze and Shikanami, may they be remembered, but they've sunk the British pre-dreadnought HMS Vengeance and the British dreadnought HMS Benbow, so Japan just won a bigger victory than we did. Fantastically done, Japan. And... Okay, this is so desultory. Like, this is... the wimpiest battle... <laughs> The French have lost the patrol corvettes Ville de la Ciotat and Ville de Verdun in exchange for the armed merchant cruiser Arc Duchessa Sophia. That's not as exciting as what Japan pulled off. Well done, Japan. Coming through for us as an ally there. And that leaves... Now Britain really does have to be a little worried, you know. They still have a huge supremacy in battle cruisers, of course, but uh, their pre-dreadnought advantage... They've lost one outright, and I think they must have scrapped one or something, but they're down to 18 to 12 in pre-dreadnoughts. Not that impressive. They're outgunned in heavy cruisers and light cruisers, and we still have more tonnage of destroyers, even though we're going to need to build more. We're losing them at too high a rate, but uh, it's not catastrophic yet, anyway. They're starting to build corvettes, but not desperately needed. They're building a lot of submarines, which is just almost embarrassing for a country that... Oh, they don't have us blockaded anymore. The blockade is over. I don't know why. Maybe because of that battle they lost to Japan, honestly. But uh, they have 144 airships in service. That's just a waste. They're going to be obsolete within, like, three years here. And they're not useful against... Well, if they've built some in North America, they might be useful a little bit against us, but... Uh, the principal thing I was looking at is they're down to 10 dreadnoughts in service. That's still pretty much twice as many as anybody else, twice as many as us, but... That's two they've lost. They have two of these good new resolution class, which have 12, 14-inch guns, although a little thin on the belt, if that's accurate. And they're building five more... 
Um, but the, none of those will be ready before 1915, according to this current schedule. And that's... The war could be over by 1915. The bulk of them are not going to be finished until 1916, which the war will probably be over by 1916. For now, they've got three 14-inch gun dreadnoughts and seven 12-inch gun dreadnoughts, and they won't have anything more until 1915. Now, against that three and seven, I've got five 12-inch gun dreadnoughts, and in about six months' time, I'll have four 14-inch gun dreadnoughts. So once, you know, in seven months when the last Kentucky is commissioned, Britain will barely outgun us in dreadnoughts. It's really going to be quite, quite close there. Oh, they're preparing to invade Venezuela. Um, we have to decline because if they actually have... Yeah, I know. Unexpected light forces action. Honestly, if this is actually like an all-destroyer or destroyer and light cruiser action, we could probably win it. It's... Except, apparently, we're only going to get two destroyers for this. Samson and Winslow. Um... We're going to have to transfer forces back to the Caribbean again, because apparently they're invading that. But, uh, we'll deal. Okay, if this is another destroyer, we will sink it, but if that's like a light cruiser or something we're chasing right now, then that's going to get real embarrassing. It says light cruiser, but the way it's accelerating, I think it's actually destroyer. Yeah. Um... Okay, well, it's just a straight chase now. One destroyer versus two. This is about the smallest battle I've ever been in. These are rounding errors in most battles. Is that actually a... Nope, that's another destroyer. Um, either of these destroyer classes that they've got, you know, that's a 400 tonner. That's a 400 tonner. These are both 600 tonners. So we sh should have an edge. Apparently they've built an airship base in the Bahamas. So I wonder if there's like airship bombing of Florida going on right now. That'd be a heck of a thing. Oh, I forgot to turn shipboard... Don't let me forget. I gotta turn shipboard naval operation up to uh, high priority. Because, spoiler alert... Airplanes are going to become important soon. Not actually that soon. It's pretty much 20 years still before they're actually relevant. But you've got to start... Well, I shouldn't say relevant. They're very useful as scouts even quite early on. But they're not going to start killing capital ships for another 20 or even 30 years. Oh, that's... Oh, God. There's a whole gaggle of, like, four of these coming out. Five. Um, we're probably going to have to run away then. Man, the accuracy is bad on these. How many guns does each one of these have? If they're all 400 tonners, they have two 3-inch, four 2-inch. That's actually the same as what we have. We just have better torpedoes, so we should probably turn away from that one. Not terribly consequential whether we win or lose this, but... Uh... Sorry about that. All right, so we're back to running away, running away, running away. Uh, 
Oh, they got stuck on that point of land. And it's dark. Fantastic. Maybe we just take a little jink to Miami. And we should be all good. There have even been three of them. Maybe even four I would have fought, but there were five or six at least, so... No sense in trying that. Oh, wow, there were eight, apparently. That's a little, oopsies, a little uncalled for. Hmm. You know what? Sh sure. I can give some resources to the army. Improved face hardening for gradual improvement of armor quality. Improved triple turrets. Rate of fire and reliability penalty for triple turrets finally gone. We can give airships bombs. The Austrians fought the British, but sank nothing. Be more like Japan, Austria. Wrong thing. Three months away from finally having a gunnery training, so yeah, once we have that and the Kentuckys, it really will be time for the counterattack. Uh, let's see here. I don't have this on high, do I? No. Shipboard aircraft operation. Getting to turn that right up to high. That will be come in handy quite soon. That's not the only... There's also... I feel like there's heavier than air naval aviation. There's a couple of techs that are related to it, eventually, that we don't have all unlocked yet, but that's uh, where we got to start, yeah. How are we doing here? Okay. We do have working 15-inch guns, so I guess that's our next class, right? Talked about that once before, I think, but... Um... Okay, so the Brits, yeah, the Brits have pretty much moved everything down into the Caribbean again in order to try to invade Venezuela. So I guess, hmm, it's annoying though, they're using their numbers better now maybe, arguably, but uh, they don't have very much up here. Well, you know what I can do about that is we can invade New Brunswick again. Just counter-invade. I'd rather have New Brunswick than Venezuela. Doesn't matter much to me if I own Venezuela. I, New Brunswick is worth much more to me. Although Venezuela is worth more to the game, especially because it's got oil, but uh, yeah, I'd rather have New Brunswick. I mean, without also taking Nova Scotia and Newfoundland, it's not worth all that much, but it's worth something. It would reduce the bloody British base capacity here. They have 170 right now, apparently. That's actually not enough for a fleet the size of the one they have in the Caribbean, for instance. But Point of fact, they don't really have... What do they have? 60... 65 base capacity here? They're going to have maintenance issues on those ships then. <laughs> for sure. All right, we'll do uh, one more month. Cruiser action. We can ambush an enemy force. Well, as long as we're not ambushing a battle cruiser force, that's just fine by me. Okay, we do have all three of our Pittsburgh class here. Frederick, Pueblo, and Huron. Hopefully, we're ambushing an armored cruiser and not a battle cruiser. We are ambushing an armored cruiser, and it's French, I believe. The Leon Gambetta class, and this is... Well, it is literally an armored cruiser, because it's 11,400 tons, and it's got a 5.5-inch belt. But look at this armament. Four 6-inch guns and 14 5-inch guns? Unless our intel is deeply flawed and it's like 4 8-inch and 14 6-inch maybe or something. Um, unless that's the case, then I don't even know how they failed to put bigger... Oh, great. It's just going to run away from us then. I didn't realize that. I don't know how they could... Oh, wait. It's sailed back towards us. It's an idiot. Okay. Um, actually, destroyers, if you could just... Uh... 
You're not the good sort of destroyers. You're only got two torpedoes each, but uh, if you could land a torpedo hit, that's about all that could actually get us to keep up with her, honestly, in the dark here, so... You guys are going to need to try. We did land a couple of hits, but none of it seemed to have slowed her down substantially. It's not a battle cruiser, I know that. Oof. You couldn't have at least launched torpedoes while you were dying, Samson? Oh, she did. She launched one. And missed. Okay, well, it was an effort. It was an effort. Can't tell for sure if we've actually slowed her down or not. I think maybe we have. That's good, because it's real dark. No, maybe not. She's running pretty fast again. Yeah, I figured that was going to happen. Um, so now we kind of have to sink this, or it'll just be a waste of a destroyer. But I think she might be going 20 knots again. We'll see. And apparently Wadsworth has taken damage and can't keep up, so that's bad. Oh, great. Wait. Oh, there she is. She's right ahead of us still. Do ahead of us. Wait, she made a turn. Oh, I turned too hard. Great. We're getting hit. We lost sight of her. Damn this darkness. We might have lost her. That's unfortunate. Oh! Oh, I really thought we had lost her for sure. There she is. Little turn. Bring all the guns to bear. Would you like to fire? Apparently the answer is no. Damn, this darkness, she is so good at just slipping away into it. Then again, not that... Ooh. Oh, oh, crikey. Um, would somebody care to open fire? Open? She's shooting at you. Please fire. Who else do you actually expect to run into in the dark here, guys? At Jutland, they were shooting at all kinds of random people without ever positively IDing them. You could probably do the same. Oh, whew. Bit of a let off there. Apparently, she fired her submerged torpedoes at us. We might have finally landed enough. It's to slow her down a little more. Not sure. Very touch and go here still. Oh, God. Now, where'd she go? Give us the slip again. Maybe for good this time. Mm. Yeah. Again, no idea where... Oh! How does she keep blundering into us? All she's got to do is take one good turn once she's properly out of our sight. And she should just be away. And Lansworth, it was an effort, at least, I guess. Fire. Come on, fire. My god, guys. I know it's dark, but come on.
All right, I literally, I know she's right here somewhere. No? Yes, okay. Oh, man. No. Problem, one of the problems is, I think she's probably still faster than us. I can't for the life of me. Now have we lost her for good? Maybe. Damn. This darkness. Oh my god. Every time, just when I'm about to give up, she just, uh... appears. Okay, I think this time she really did give us the slip. Yeah. That's a shame. Lost the destroyer for nothing there. They're pretty expendable, but still. Quite a waste. Where did she go? Oh. She didn't turn as much north as I thought, and she just went off that way, apparently. Another thousand tons of free dockyards. Ah, uh, I forgot about this. Okay, well, one month delay on all of the uh, Kentuckys because they don't have director firing installed natively, but that's fine. 15 foot range finder for national accuracy improvement. We can build mine laying and long range submarines. Expanded our base in Guam. Uh, Tachikaze for Oriflam. Between Japan and France. And the British have resorted to raiding tactics in the Caribbean. They are invading Venezuela. I'm just going to counter invade New Brunswick. I think that's the best strategy, honestly. If they all come north to defend New Brunswick, then they'll just lose in. Uh, the Caribbean, so. Because I'm going to keep the force that's there, there. Should I pull this force from the west coast? I mean, I should just disperse it more elsewhere, right? Probably, I should. Obviously, Northeast Asia, Japan has pretty locked down. Funnily enough, we have Southeast Asia pretty locked down as well. And. We have the only ship in the entire South Pacific. Surely, surely if this were the situation out here, Australia would be screaming for Britain to do something about it, right? <laughs> I would think so. Actual World War One, Britain made a top priority of hunting down any German cruisers that were scattered about the Pacific because Australia was screaming about it in no small part. Right, we pretty much just rule the Pacific, I guess. Yeah, Britain has everything on our east coast. So does France. Well, actually, France has everything in the Mediterranean, I think. Yeah, pretty much. But it's not that much more than what Austria-Hungary's got, funnily enough. Um, yeah, I mean, it's more, but not cleanly enough more, apparently. Although they're so much heavier. I mean, they should be winning, but uh, 
as long as Austria-Hungary keeps them occupied, I don't really care if they lose the war, honestly. As long as they can keep all of France tied down, then it's me and Japan versus Britain, basically. And Japan pulled off a hell of an upset with... I don't even know what they had in the Caribbean for that battle. Like, I don't see any other forces that are outside of... I think it was just a couple of destroyers or something, in all honesty. Maybe it was this force, if that was out there at that time. But I never really noticed a significant Japanese task force arrive here. Somehow they sank a dreadnought and a pre-dreadnought, though. Interesting, Britain has quite a lot back home. I mean... Mostly destroyers that probably are short-ranged, but, uh... Yeah. No, we're bankrupt again. Okay. Alright. So, we're 12 months into the war. The tide is beginning to turn, given three or four more months. Did this have a delay or something? Why is this still seven months? Well, even with just the first three completed... Uh, given three or four more months, we should have three 14-inch gunned dreadnoughts available, which will really be enough to make it awfully close between ourselves and Great Britain, as far as the dreadnought balance of power goes. Battlecruisers were still lagging in for the duration of the war, in all likelihood. Nobody's conquered any territory yet. They're invading Venezuela. I'm gonna invade New Brunswick. We're winning on victory points. And on ships sunk, so... It's all going as well as can be expected so far. So that'll be it for this part, guys. Thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. And have a nice day, sailors.